Hi, I'm Alan Holmes, Chief Executive of the Department for Environment and Heritage, and I'd like to welcome you to our organisation. This is a fantastic place to work. Every day uh, I get great enjoyment, great satisfaction in working in this, in this place because it is about um, doing something positive for our society. It is about doing something for the environment for, for now and for the long term. Working for the Department for Environment and Heritage, it gives me that sense of purpose. Um, I've constantly sort of looked at um, ways of being a benefit towards the community. It helps me come to work every day knowing that I'm doing something that I believe in, strongly believe in it. The environment to me is, is second to none. I've always been passionate about the environment, so whenever I see that a project's been successful, it's really satisfying to know that I'm making a difference and doing something that I'm really passionate about. My whole life I really worked with the marine environment. I learned how to swim in the ocean and um, it's just uh, what life is about for me. And I always looked for a place where I had the freedom to exercise that passion. And I'm so happy that I found a home in South Australia in the Department for Environment and Heritage because I love what I do and I am supported. I know the department wants to deliver on marine conservation. We're really interested in attracting all sorts of different people to our, to our organisation. Well, I first became involved with the Department of Environment and Heritage in about 2003. Um, they had a traineeship up for grabs. The traineeship program is a great program for young people to enter government. Successfully completed that and they thought, well, let's try him in the next step and we'll put him onto a cadetship. Having gotten that cadetship, I went on to study biodiversity and conservation at Flinders University. Being a part of that cadetship, I was also offered um, a base wage to work off of while I was studying, so that made it particularly helpful. I really like my job because it gives me an opportunity to work outside and that helps to keep me fit and healthy. I'm on a graduate ranger program which allows me to do rotations in different parts of the department and get a whole range of different experiences. It's given me a really good understanding of some of the other work that the Department for Environment and Heritage does, such as marine planning and Aboriginal heritage and they also have a whole heap of public attractions such as Cleland Wildlife Park and Seal Bay on Kangaroo Island and there's the Botanic Gardens that gives me an opportunity to interact with the public and I think that that's really going to help my career in the future. There's no average day at work. You can be working on one project one day and then completely something different the next so it gives you this um, ability I guess to think on your feet. But it's really exciting as well, it keeps it different and, and interesting. I spend a lot of my time thinking, trying to be creative about how we're gonna make sure that people enjoy the marine environment, that we have industries that grow, but at the same time that we protect our marine life. Things like establishing the Adelaide Dolphin Sanctuary in the metropolitan Adelaide was a process that uh, we needed to have um, partnerships with other agencies, community, industry. It's an area that's heavily used by industry. So we had to come up with a model, if you like, that would ensure people were still enjoying their environment, but also looking after the dolphins and the habitats that they live. So, for example, we have two rangers that uh, talk to people about uh, where not to throw rubbish, make sure they put it in their beans. We have rules about recreational fishing, and those rangers, you know, ride their boats and walk around the sanctuary, making sure that people know what they can and cannot do. Cougar Canyonee is a Pitjantjara word, which loosely translated into English means looking after game animals. But it's a lot more than that. It actually looks at improving people's emotional and physical well-being using land management as the basis. We're actually providing real employment for Aboriginal people. These people are experts in their field and we're, we're utilising that resource and producing the outcomes that we need at the end of the day. 
the Department for Environment and Heritage in a very innovative workplace. For example, we just introduced a um, new software called Microsoft SharePoint. This is a website where employees can create blogs, can put their pictures on, can upload their projects to share the information. I think the project Cooker Canyon is really important because I see some of the young children coming up to me and saying that they'd really like to do my job when they get older. It's a unique project and the department's really done really well to embrace it. I value the department and the fact that they've tried something new. It's really important to have the support of the department for those ideas that can be sometimes quite unusual. And a good example of that is the short film animation, The Adventures of Gavin Leafy Sea Dragon. Oh, look! There are two moons tonight. It's a plastic bag, Gavin. The department is prepared to trust and to embark in creative solutions for some of the problems we have. The Department for Environment Heritage is a very diverse uh, workplace. It has people from all different age groups and all different backgrounds. Yeah, I'd try and encourage a lot of Indigenous people out there to see what we've got to offer. You look at Aboriginal history and their relationship with the land and their interaction with the land and you're looking at over 40,000 years. So I'm really glad that you know the Department for Environment and Heritage values that and translates that into a project that really has successful outcomes. There's lots of opportunities for female rangers. The way the department supports female rangers is really good in helping us to build up the necessary skills to, to get the job done. It's really great to have a female role model to look up to who's been there and experienced some of the challenges. That's really encouraging for me because I can see where my career might be heading in the future. In the office where I work, I have an office manager who's a female. She started off in a lower position and she works herself up to a senior position. And I work very closely with her and she really encouraged me to excel more, to learn more. Being principal marine advisor, it is a very senior position, a position that requires a lot of trust, a lot of uh, belief. And I think that is fantastic because it does inspire young female to remain with the department, um, you know, and aim for something bigger. Our department's one where there are just many, many career paths and if you, and if you start as a, a, a junior in the administrative area, if you start as a young scientist or you start as a young IT specialist, you can see multiple paths that you could follow uh, in an organisation. The department really invests uh, in me, in a human being, in a professional capacity and a personal capacity as well. They're inspirational. I've never worked in an organisation like the Department for Environment and Heritage that has been inspirational. There's great leadership there and that makes all the difference to me. They believe in me. As far as the future goes, I think, you know, uh, I have a brilliant future because I will have the freedom and the support to choose where I want to be. If you want to come to South Australia, you want to work in a great organisation, that's there to look after the environment for, for us and for future generations. This is the place for you. The future is what you make of it. I mean, the sky could be the limit and yeah, who knows, might end up a CE one day.